Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, John Pollan. How are you? I am great. How are you doing? I am wonderful, and we get to talk about one of my favorite things, Angry Birds. I've got a DVD here that I'm giving away to my audience, but I'd love to, for you to give me the backstory behind it. Oh, well, Angry Birds, as you know, is, is a game that has been downloaded now over three and a half billion times, which is so many people that have played the games, that have heard of the games, and, and we were able to create with this movie an origin story for how the strange conflict came to exist between flightless birds and, and weird green piggies. And, and it was a lot of fun to get to work on. And I'm sorry I mispronounced your name, John Cohen. I'm so very sorry about that. But let me ask you this. Why is Angry Birds so popular? You know, the games are just a lot of fun to play. They're very, very simple, and yet when you play the games, you have these piggies there, and they just laugh at you. And so the whole time, you've got these pigs who are chuckling at you and taunting you, and so if you're having a bad day, and, you know, and, and something has happened in your life that you're not happy about, it's kind of a cathartic experience to be able to launch birds at these, at these piggies. When... Angry Birds is, is a part of popular culture. <laughs> That's all you can say about it. What kind of power does it have? Well, it's, it is a lot of people that, that know the games and have heard of the games, and that's an incredible opportunity. And, and normally, when you have something of that size, tends to be a, a comic book property like the Hulk or Spider-Man or, or books like Harry Potter, and when you're lucky enough to translate one of those into a movie, you're just very carefully trying not to mess up someone else's uh, carefully, carefully thought out vision. And with Angry Birds, we were able to create our own story. And, and, and that was the combination of something original with something that everyone knows. Is there another initiative beyond just the Angry Birds movie that you want to talk about? Is there something fitness-related that goes with it? There is. There's something great that we launched yesterday called Angry Birds Happy Bodies. And we launched it in, in, in cities around the country, from coast to coast, where we had our characters out encouraging kids to exercise, to try and get about 60 minutes a day of, of physical fitness. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to partner with the American Heart Association in, in spreading this great message. When Americans are exercising less, this is a great initiative. When our hearts aren't as strong as they should be, this is a great initiative. Yes. The individual that receives my copy of Angry Birds, I'm hoping that they become the fittest, the strongest, the healthiest, and the most funniest. <laughs> so, if they will, <laughs> so if they want a copy, they can just go to our Facebook page, ValderBBShow.com, like the page, and we're going to give away a copy. As I wrap up, Angry Birds, as I said, it's so, such a part of, part of our culture now. Do we have a new movie coming after this DVD? Uh, we are hard at work right now on the sequel and having a lot of fun already. And, you know, it's just a chance to be able to bring together this cast again of Jason Sudeikis and Maya Rudolph and Josh Gad and, and Bill Hader and Kate McKinnon. It, it's something that we're really looking forward to. Well, those are all names that make us laugh. So you guys have a great cast. And is there a place for my audience to go online and you want to send them? 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I would say they should go to iTunes and Amazon, and they can also go to their local retailer and find Angry Birds, the DVD, everywhere, starting, starting today. Well, Angry Birds, you heard it first. Mr. Coyne says, hey, get your copy. Thank you so much for coming on and talking about one of my favorite movies, Angry Birds. Oh, thank you. It was so great to be here.